Hello, welcome to another Drag Race Extra Lessons where I take a closer look at RuPaul's Drag Race and I check the references. Well, well, well. So this episode I'm going to look at Little Edie. Now Little Edie was first referenced in season 4 by Sharon Needles. But it was Jinx Monsoon's impersonation in season 5 that really caused a stir. She's always begging for the pate, but the label is faded. I can never tell if it's pate or if it's giblets for the cat. <laughs> because the other queens didn't know what was going on. I'm going to do Little Edie from Grey Gardens. Who, what? Little Edie from Grey Gardens. Grey Gardens? Mm -hmm. Who is that? Who the hell is Little Edie? I don't even know what that is. So if you, like those queens, just didn't really get it, I, with some help from Jinx, I'm going to catch you up. Little Edie lived with her mum, Big Edie, in a big old dilapidated house called Grey Gardens. They were once these high-flying socialites, Edie's cousin Jackie married JFK, but after Little Edie returned home from New York heartbroken and fragile, she and her mum lived a kind of closed-off life together. Two huge personalities in a crumbling mansion. It's very difficult to keep the line between the past and the present. You know what I mean? Of course, I won't get out of here till she dies or I die. Who is she? Little Edie had alopecia and lost all her hair out of the stress. And then she became a big fashion icon. And you can always take off the skirt and use it as a cape. So I think this is the best costume for the day. Okay. <laughs> I have to think these things up, you know. In 1975, the Maisel brothers made a documentary Big Edie died in 1977. You can't have your cake and eat it. Oh, yes, I did. In line. I did. I had my cake, loved it, mashed the cake, and chewed it, and had everything I, had I wanted. Eat it too. I had a very, yeah. very happy, satisfying life. Little Edie went on to launch a cabaret act that wasn't really a hit, and she then lived out the rest of her life quietly until dying in 2002. The relatives didn't know that they were dealing with a staunch character. And I tell you, if there's anything worse than a staunch woman, S-T-A-U-N-C-H. There's nothing worse, I'm telling you. Well, the pair became cult icons who later inspired a play, a musical, songs, and an excellent drama starring Drew Barrymore and Jessica Lange. So why are people still banging on about them? Why are people drawn to them? Well, there's just something so rich in the story of these two funny and sharp women who are unwilling soulmates. It's like they're haunted by each other. Good Lord. Their lives could be viewed through a lens of tragedy or one of triumph. Two defiant eccentrics who didn't much care what the outside world thought of them. And that's something many people, including Jinx, could relate to. My whole life I've danced to the beat of a different drum. And anything else was just water off a duck's back. <laughs> Please do watch Grey Gardens if you get a chance. It is such a treat. But for now, Little Edie, Big Edie and Jinx Monsoon, we salute you. If you enjoyed this video, please do share it with whoever is your unwilling soulmate. Or, you know, everyone on Twitter. I'm on Twitter too, at the Rory John, and would love to hear from you. Um, thank you. Bye-bye. Mother wanted me to come out in a kimono, so we had quite a bite.